And today we're going to be talking with you guys all about hair. Hair products, hair tools, basically all hair products we are loving right now and that are our staples. So first we're going to start off by showing you guys the heat tools we use. And I've been, we both actually been into really curling our hair. I know for the past couple years we've like worn our hair straight, at least I have. Um, so yeah, I definitely like the more beachy waves. So I like the, to use the Conair Infinity U Curl Wand. This is like 25 bucks at Target or Walmart. And it's like 35 if you buy it at CVS or Rite Aid or Walgreens. I don't know why it's more expensive there. But I really like this. It goes up to 400 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. And I like it because towards the bottom you can have bigger curls. Towards the top you can have um, like tighter, um, smaller curls. So I really like this. You have control over your outcome of your hair. And I don't know, I just really like this curling iron. This curler is um, plugged in. I got this at Sally Beauty Supply. Um, it's just kind of like a smaller one. Um, we could do it. Yeah, it looks like this. And this one also has like a variety of different um, sizes that you can curl your hair. I actually like to use the top more because I'm not really like into like the ringlets. Yeah. But actually, this is probably not one of my favorites because it actually <laughs> gave me a huge burn. And right here. Yeah, so <laughs> this one it goes up to like 600 degrees, but you can't Which change so the nice. temperature. But yeah, this is um, from like a week ago. And yeah, that's uh, that. So I mean, <laughs> if you want to get burned but have good hair, then get this. Because it's definitely worth the hair, but not worth the pain. And I, mine actually came with a glove. I don't know if yours came with mine a glove. Mine came with a glove and I threw it away and I'm so regretting throwing that away. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we have is something we both have. Well, obviously, I don't know why I just said that. It's a product we both have and that we don't really like, but we're just trying to get through it and use. And it's the Got To Be Guardian Angel Heat Protectant, and it protects up to 425 degrees. Um, so it says it's a gloss, gloss finished flat iron balm. This doesn't make my hair look glossy at all. I don't mm -hmm. know about you. Um, it works to protect your hair, but it <laughs> smells like really bad like hairspray and I yeah. hate the smell of hairspray yeah, like it makes me want to throw up um so I think if like with us we're definitely like really big about smells like and how they are in our hair mm -hmm. um I think we both like like the fruity not as like hairspray and like alcohol smelling I guess like I don't like hair products with a lot of alcohol in it I just think it like dries out my hair and I really don't like the way my hair feels with that so we're just basically trying to get through these, but they work good to protect against split ends and breakage, but don't get it if you're expecting to have glossy, healthy-looking hair, because this doesn't make any difference at all. And it looks like this. Um, I really like this to protect, but obviously not the smell. But <laughs> I am thinking about purchasing this again, but I might try something different, but I know that a lot of heat protectants like make your hair oily, mm. and this doesn't. But I just don't know if I'm going to switch or stay. I'm just not really just sure Just the yet. smell. Like, I think a heat protectant should definitely provide you with a good finish. And this doesn't yeah. give you any type of special finish. It basically is just your hair. But, I mean, I don't have any split ends. Like, I've really been working on the health of my hair, and I use that every day. But, I don't know. I'm kind of getting over it. All right, so the next thing I have is the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Thicken Up Styling Liquid. And I use this to control frizz. Um, I use it after I scrunch my hair. I kind of go through and scrunch it um, afterwards. And it keeps my hair intact and keeps the curl. And it's really nice for those days when you want to just kind of wear your natural hair and want to give it a little bit of a lift. Or what I like to do, this is like my everyday hair routine, I'll go ahead and sleep in two braids and then scrunch my hair with this after and apply it to my roots to control flyaways and frizz. So this is a great product when you're not wanting to use heat and you just want, you know, your frizz to be controlled. So I love this. This is actually another tool, and this is a straightener, um, and this is called Palladium Ceramic by Gibbery de Paris. <laughs> I'm not really sure to pronounce it. It's a Sally's. Um, yeah, this is at Sally's, and it's not too bad in price, because I know a lot of straighteners are like $200, but this was only like 60 or $70, um, but it works really good, but I have used this like forever now so I'm thinking out like switching to another one but I'm not really sure but it works really that well. That gets really hot too. Yeah but you can also adjust it to like it says coarse hair, thick hair, normal hair, thin hair, and fine hair 
and they're all based on the temperature, so you can actually change the temperature on this one. All right, my last hair product I'm going to be showing is actually not a heat tool. Um, mine is just another styling product, and it's the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I use this every day along with these. These are like my two like holy grail hair products. Um, I've gone through like three bottles of these, and I just love the smell. It's like the perfect coconut smell. Like, it is, like, amazing. And, like, this is, like, my summer product. I use it all year round. Um, my mom even uses it, too. Uh, I got her into it. And, I mean, besides the bottle looking really cute, like, we are obsessed with packaging. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. And, like, it's just, like, perfect after you go to the pool or the beach. You just want to give your hair, like, a lift. Um, or if you just want those beachy waves, I love using this after I curl my hair. And it also holds a curl very great, even though it's not even a hairspray. So I love this. My last product is this one um, by Chaz Dean, I think. Yeah, Chaz <laughs> Dean um, in Sweet Almond Mint. I also have the spring one in Gardenia, and that smells really good. But I really like this because you can use it, um, like, alone. But I tend to use it with shampoo a lot, but you're not supposed to. But this, it says, like, it takes the place of... Um, like shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, all detangular, in like all in one. Like it says it's a cleansing conditioner and you apply 15 to 20 pumps. They're just saying that because they want you to, <laughs> oh, whoops. They're just saying to apply 15 to 20 pumps because you, they want you to run out of it and buy another. So don't even listen to that. Just apply like eight maybe. But this even is. Even less. Yeah, don't apply 15 or, like, cleansing conditioner will be literally dripping all over the shower and all over the walls. <laughs> don't use 15 pumps of this. They just want you to buy another. But this is by far one of the best hair products I've been using, and I'll definitely purchase another because it really takes the place of everything in one. All right, so that concludes our All About Hair video. I hope you guys found this helpful and saw a couple products you guys wanted to try out or saw us talk about some you guys are loving as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, stay tuned for more videos. Bye! Bye.